Jelly Spoons, welcome back to Badger Works. Today, this. Uh, <laughs> this is um, uh, a, a whale shark uh, model um, that I made uh, today and yesterday. Uh, my son came to me yesterday and told me he had a project for uh, a club he's in at school that needs to be shown at an event on Sunday. Apparently he's known about it for weeks, he's only just told me. Anyway, what his part of the project was, was to um, supply a model of uh, a robot that would clean silt from waterways. And the design that he and his friends came up with was uh, a robot, kind of similar to a whale shark, that would swim along, uh, suck water in through its mouth, filter out the silt, and, uh, and store it internally when it can be emptied later. So what I did, being given virtually no time for this, was I took a model from, I think Thingiverse or somewhere, of a whale shark that I found, uh, modified it slightly, added the thrusters and camera mounts and, and I've put a grill inside its mouth. Um, and now I'm going to uh, paint it to try and approximate the look of a whale shark. Um, so what I've done so far is, I didn't want it plain white, so I've given it a coat of uh, grey primer and then misted over it with a coat of white primer to give it this kind of off-white look. Now, I don't know if you're familiar with how a whale shark looks, um, but they basically, they, they vary in colour from, from grey to blue to brown uh, on the top half. But they have the very distinctive pattern of dots and swirls all over them. Now, that's going to be a nightmare to paint, obviously. So, normally I would, you know, take my time with it. But this, I have no time to do this, <laughs> really. I, I have literally got about an hour to do this. Um, because I'm going to be working for the rest of the time before this event. It's just not going to happen. So, I need to do it quickly. It doesn't need to be perfect. It just needs to look the part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, rather than individually paint all these hundreds of little dots and swirls uh, with an airbrush or with a paintbrush, I am going to use this white primer coat, because that's what colour the dots are, and I'm going to mask the dots and the swirls and then chip the paint. Now, how am I going to do that? I'm not going to use masking tape. I'm going to use something a bit different. I'll show you. I'm going to use this. Now this is a little pot here and in it this brown substance is Marmite. Uh, marmite is something that some of you may be familiar with. It's um, a, a plant or a yeast based um, extract uh, that you eat. I've got, got away. It's, it's, I think it's vile personally. The smell of it turns my stomach. Um, but you know I mean my kids love it. I, I can't stand the stuff myself. Anyway, it's Marmite, similar to um, Vegemite in, in Australia. Uh, I think most people have probably heard of Marmite. It's, um, it's a very interesting subject because, uh, and they actually use this as an advertising tagline, you either love it or hate it. There is nobody who is sort of ambivalent about Marmite. It is a case of people either love it or hate it. I can't stand the stuff personally. But it does have one very useful um, property for modelling, and that is it's water soluble and it's quite thick and sticky. So we can actually use it as a masking agent. Now obviously you could use a commercial masking agent like you know Marskol or something like that, but if you've got a jar of this in the house, you can use this. Now I basically took this in this little plastic pot that came from the pound shop. Um, I think I bought about 10 of these for a pound, these little plastic tubs. They're, they're um, makeup tubs. Um, but I put a little bit in one of these and that's been in there for about a year. <laughs> so, you know, it's the fact that we have Marmite in the house. It was literally a case of just scoop a little bit out with a knife, put it in this tub, and that's lasted me forever. Um, so it's, it's just a lot easier than going out and buying a masking fluid. So, anyway. But basically how we're going to use this is we will paint the design that we want onto the model with the Marmite. Then we'll spray over the top of it. And then let, once the paint is dried... We can basically just wash the Marmite away and use it basically like a chipping fluid or a masking agent. So let me show you what I mean and how we're going to do this. 
Okay, so here's our model, and here's our Marmite. Um, and I'm going to take an old brush, well, not necessarily an old brush, but I'm going to take a cheap brush. This is a, this is a bold mirror brush. You can buy these um, like from the works and places like that. They're actually pretty good brushes. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some of this Marmite on the brush, and I'm just going to dot it on like so in a fairly random pattern you don't need a lot of it, you only need a little a little dob of it and I'm going to go over the whole thing like this and the way, um, if you remember the picture the dots start smaller and then they get larger as they go back and then they kind of form lines so what I'll do is I'll, um, I won't make you sit through the whole thing, but I'll basically paint this on all over and then we'll come back and look at it once it's done. Okay, so that's, uh, that's the head basically done. Uh, now we'll just keep moving back, but this time we'll start going into more uh, lines of dots uh, and various other uh, swells and stripes. So we'll just keep going and uh, I'll keep you updated as we proceed. Uh, for our top coat we're going to use this um, XF82 Ocean Grey 2. Um, it's a nice kind of bluey grey so I think it'll work quite well. As I said the colour's not desperately important because in, in life they, they vary wildly in colour but this is what I'm going to use. So what I'm going to do is just give it a light coat over the top. Um, hitting it because obviously it's the top of the of the fish that we want to colour. So I'm going to um, I'm going to hit it from a, a, a quite a steep sort of vertical angle. And as I say, we don't need to plaster this on. It only needs to be a light coat because we can always add more. Um, but I'll just go over it like this. And as you can see, I'm hitting it, as I said, very much from the from the top. Because basically it just saves me having to mask off all the sides and everything. We'll just give it a few light coats of this. And then move on to the next step. Right, I think that'll, uh, that'll do for the top coat. So now we'll leave that to dry for a few minutes, basically while we clean out the brush and then uh, move on to the next step. Okay, so I've given this uh, paint a few minutes to dry and uh, I've got here a little, uh, a little tub with some, uh, some warm water in it and a brush and basically what should happen is we should be able to just wash the Marmite away, you see. So just very, very gently brush over it and it basically just acts like a chipping fluid. Um, it just uh, soaks through the paint, lifts the marmite off and leaves white spots as you can see. Now don't rub too hard on this because uh, obviously it will, it could, well, could possibly damage the paint as well. So just go over it very gently and uh, just remove the marmite, not the not the paint as well. Now you'll notice as well there's a lot of brown staining on here, so get yourself a bit of tissue and just dab off the uh, the excess marmite like that. And again, just work over the whole thing until it's uh, looking the way you want. You may find when you're done with this, your model smells quite uh, yeasty, unfortunately. <laughs> I might switch to a bit bigger brush, actually, for this larger area. Right, and there we go. So uh, we'll just uh, dry that off with a hairdryer 
um, or leave it to dry either way, and um, and then give it a coat of uh, of matte or whatever varnish you want to use to seal it. But um, I think that demonstrates quite nicely how easily you can get you know some quite good results using nothing but uh, some repulsive marmite yeast extract stuff. So <laughs> anyway, I hope this has been useful to you. It's uh, I say a bit of a quick one. Um, Stop laughing at the back. Uh, but yeah, I just thought it's uh, something we've kind of covered before, but just going over it in a bit more detail. So hopefully this was useful to you, and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers. Bye.